Hey everybody, this is me Kavya and welcome to Study Cozy. So this video is going to be a daily vlog wherein I will be taking you through a day in my life preparing for final exams. So I woke up at 10.30 and directly headed to the McDonald's which is just two months away from my place. And here I did my breakfast and studied for two to three hours wherein I did biology and covered some part of chemistry as well. This was the first time I tried going out in public to study and it was a really good experience because from the past two years my classes haven't started offline not even once and it's it's really boring to just you know sit in the same room every day that's why I tried this out and you can do it as well but make sure you don't go in the busy hours because then it can be uh, pretty distracting. Here I was studying for my first uh, final exam which was of chemistry and uh, I was going through the lecture slides along with that I was making some short notes in which I include keywords and uh, important things of the concept in the form of mind maps and flowcharts. It is 12.42 right now, my mom just called because she has to go out so I have to take care of my sister at home. I completed some part of chemistry and some part of bio. So now I'm going to pack up and head towards home. In the past few days I covered a lot of chemistry so there was not a lot of stress because of that. So after I got home I watched a movie and relaxed for some time and here this was in the evening when I started with the C language course that I'm doing right now and along with that I was making short notes as usual you all know that. So this was not exactly studying for the finals but still studying for some or the other thing. Apart from the final exams, we also have to do a lot of projects and group presentations by the end of the term which add up to the final GPA. I recently came across this software which helps you to add animations to your work. Duratoon is an easy to use animation video creator. You can use their AI drawings, PPT importing, repeated video editing mode and AI dubbing tech. I've been using this to level up my academic work and I will continue to use in my upcoming projects. The animated video can be used for educational purposes, group projects, business, marketing and for commercial use as well. Here's a little tutorial of how I created my videos for the college work. You can start by choosing the template from their template center or else you can start from scratch and create your own draft. Another way is by importing any presentation and animating it. After you're done with that, you can edit the templates. So here I was editing the text and you can even change the characters and colors, backgrounds if you want. 
You can even add dubbings to the animated characters and motion to them. This will make your presentation more engaging and attractive to the audience. If you are someone like me who likes to add creativity into everything they do, this tool can turn out to be the best for you. Doratune will make everything easy for you without learning any specific skills. Don't forget to give this a try by simply searching doratune.com on your browser. I will be sharing the preview of what I made at the end of this video so make sure you check it out. I'm feeling really tired because I'm just on 5 hours of sleep so I'm going to take a little nap and after that I have to go out for dinner so um, I'll be starting late at night and I'll see you all then. finals in the next like five days and i feel like i haven't done anything i woke up at 8 30 in the evening and it's like 12 and i'm feeling sleep again i don't know what is happening honestly but i have to cover up a lot of things so i have this it's like a little bit of caffeine i guess how much should it contains caffeine yeah but like coffee is just a lot of caffeine that's why i'm having this right now so mostly i study till like three or something and then i sleep because Okay, there's no because. I, I just like, have to do it. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, light. Alright. Okay, I cannot see now. So now I think I'm going to complete this whole chapter of bio. I'm almost half done with it. And I still have like five, six such PPGs to cover up. Maybe I'll do like two or three of them. Otherwise, I'll switch the subject. And maybe I will start with like mechanical or electrical. Electrical has a lot of physics. I think I'm going to do this after that. No, that after this. After I was done with a lot of chemistry, I switched to bio and here I was going through all of the lecture presentations and trying to memorize things up to my maximum capacity. I'm kind of confused that why we have to study bio in engineering because I took engineering to get rid of bio and here we are studying it again. So basically for those who are new or for those who don't know, I am doing 6 years of integrated BTEC in computer science after 10th standard and here in the first year along with the core subjects like coding and website development, we have to study physics, chemistry, maths, bio of 11th and 12th. So in the first trimester I studied maths and physics and in this second trimester we are doing bio and chemistry. It is 2.20 right now and I did two chapters of this, like they're not exactly chapters but two subtopics and each of them is of 50 slides. So I did 100 slides in total and now I'm going to switch to reading for some time. I'll read three chapters of this uh, and honestly, I don't know, I cannot do this anymore. It's just, it's just like too complicated. I don't get a single thing what's in there. Biomedical Engineering Biomedical Engineering is the application of the principles and problem-solving techniques of engineering to biology and medicine. From prosthetic limbs to medicine delivery technology, the pioneering research of biomedical engineers is shaking the foundations of traditional healthcare to its very core. Common uses are Brain computing interfaces, nanotechnology, and implantable technology. First dedicated institution was built in 1998 at the University of Southern California. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. The next video is going to be super lit because I have studied so much in it. So till then make sure you watch my other videos and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye bye.